It's about who, not how. Who are you becoming? Who are you molding yourself into? What, what are you developing within yourself that's going to benefit you down the road? Who, not how. If you focus on that, you're going to be successful in life. If you're always trying to find the how, the quick fix, the magic pill, but you're not developing yourself, you're not going to see anything change in your life. Welcome back to another episode of the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Sean Michael Crane. I got my boy, Matt Fleming. We're here in the Unstoppable Podcast Studio in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. And today I want to talk about what it really takes to achieve at a high level. This message is for those of you that want to be at the fucking top. If you don't want to be at the top, turn this off and delete my fucking podcast and block me on social media. My message isn't for you, okay? But if you're somebody, and I don't care if you're in a low spot in life, I don't care what you're battling with. If in your heart you desire to be better and you want to succeed, you got to stick around. You got to hear this message more frequently. You got to get yourself in an environment where you see people who are winning. That's going to change your perspective and the way you think over time. Okay. I mean, there's a couple things you need to achieve at the highest level. You need new information. You need to read books, podcasts, watch interviews of people who have had success, especially in the arena in which you want to have success. Okay. Because success leaves clues. And if you study successful people, you're going to learn what they've done. You're going to see patterns between all these different types of people. So you need new information. Number two, you need to be in an environment where you're going to grow and become a better version of yourself. Too many of you are scared to leave your hometown, scared to leave that friend circle, scared to get out into the unknown. But in the unknown is where your best self becomes created, not in the fucking known of your comfort zone where you're just depleting yourself every single day. And number three... You got to establish habits and routines in your life that help you to feel proud of yourself so that over time you develop confidence and belief that you can achieve at the highest level. Okay. Those three things. If you're not doing those things right now, I want you to write down what is the next step that you can take in your life, whether it's studying successful people, what book you need to get, what podcast you need to subscribe to your environment, what environment do you need to get into or what do you need to change in your current environment? And number three, what are some habits and routines that you need to establish in your life? I want you to write that down right now and then schedule it and plan it into your days, okay? If you do that, you'll start to build momentum in your life. But real quick, I'm gonna ask Matt some questions. We're gonna just do rapid fire here. Literally though, this message is not for those of you who want to make fucking excuses and stay stuck. If you really want to achieve at the high level, like I want you to come with me. I want to be inspired by you. I want to watch you grow and I want to see you hit new levels every step of the way. But a lot of you say you want more, you want to achieve at the highest level, you want a better body, a better relationship, a better situation financially. But dude, you're not really exhausting all options and you're not doing everything in your power to level up and grow. In 2024, with social media and the abundance of information and seeing people at the top, there's no room for people who talk but don't back it up with action. You're going to be exposed. So I'm going to put you up on some game right now. If you want to achieve at the highest level and leverage social media and and do some big badass shit, here's what you need to work on. You need to work on your physique so when you walk into a room, people recognize you and you stand out. That means you got to know what workouts to do every day and you got to be disciplined in your diet and your nutrition, okay? Number two... You got to develop skills. Are you developing skills speaking on camera? Are you developing skills writing content? Are you using social media to document your journey and to you know bring awareness to you and get exposure? If you're bringing awareness to you and getting exposure, but you're not working on yourself, no one's going to want to follow you. They're going to look right past you. But if you have a physique that stands out and you're getting more well-spoken and you're doing things in your life that are impressive, people are going to start to follow you over time. Okay. Number three, are you really calling your shot and being all in and talking about it? So many of you have goals and dreams and aspirations, and you're scared to talk about them. What do you think is going to happen if you hold back in your life? Do you think you're going to get to where you want to go? No, you got to breathe and speak your dreams and your vision into existence every chance you get. I don't care if it's a bum on the street corner, a barista at Starbucks, my wife, my best friend, a stage of thousands of people watching me. I'm always speaking my truth. I'm always authentic and real and vulnerable and transparent. And that's why my dreams are coming to life because I'm manifesting them through actions, through thoughts, and through the spoken word. Those three things right now will change your life if you focus on them every day. Here's the last piece I want to share with you. And this is the hardest part for people. And I I challenge you because I don't even think you'll do it. Let's see if you could do this for a thousand days straight. 
Let's see if you can do it for a thousand days straight. Show up and do the work on yourself. Show up and document that and show up and call your shot every chance you get. Most of you don't get to where you want to go in life because you don't do it consistently enough to become that person and manifest your goals and dreams. That's it. The hardest thing for people to do is be consistent for long periods of time. Here's the truth. I've been consistent for so long that now this is who I am. I don't think about working out or eating clean. I don't think about working on my speech. I don't think about reading books or all this stuff. Dude, it's who I am. It's synonymous with my name and my identity. I've reprogrammed my entire fucking brain and my consciousness. So the way I live gets me what I want. It's no longer like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. It's who I am. When who you are creates the results you want, that's when you start to win at a high level. You'll see it in your bank account, in your relationships, in your physique, in the way other people treat you and talk about you. So again, this message is not for everyone. It's for those of you that want to achieve at the highest level. If you have a fat gut, you better get a six pack. If you're not sober, you better get sober. If you don't read books, you better read books. If you don't study successful people, start studying them. If you're not in a room of people that you can learn and grow around, get in a different fucking room. Like success leaves clues. Stop half-assing it. Stop making excuses to justify your subpar results and go all in. I need you, dude, because when I see people go all in, I get so fired up and motivated even more so than I already am. I want to be that catalyst and that spark for other people, but I want to be fired up too. I want to be inspired. I want to see you hit that next level because I know together we can change the world. And that's why my boy Matt Fleming's here because he's on that path. So Matt, share with everyone what you're doing right now, what you got going on in the next 60 days, 90 days, you're preparing for you know, a competition. Just bring insight into your journey for them. Yeah, man. Uh, doing my first um, physique competition. We had someone correct us about that. It's physique, not bodybuilding. My mistake. Um, anyway, first time doing something like this, and it's something I've always wanted to do uh, pretty much since I got into weight training um, heavily, I guess, back in when I was 26. I'm 34 now. Whatever year, the 2017. Um, I've always wanted to do it, just held back, made excuses on why I couldn't, and the thing things just aligned right recently with Whitney, uh, with Ashley meeting them and then having the show. And when they came to town, you What's know, the it, name of the show so people can, if it, they want to go, it's the Whitney Jones classic in Mesa, Arizona, October 5th. Yeah. And so Whitney Jones is, she's one of our unstoppable team members. She runs the women's division. All the women's coaching is done by her and Ashley Garcia. Whitney Jones is a three time Miss Olympia. Like she's a badass. She's a world champion. Um, so <clears throat> talk to me. That's what six weeks away. I think it's roughly six weeks. How has uh, like preparing for a bodybuilding show impacted you as a person and like your mindset? Uh, it's a new level of discipline. You know, I've rebuilt my whole life off of uh, just challenging myself, um, living very structured because I never, I lacked that structure my entire, you know, life growing up. And so when I got sober, I just, I wanted discipline. So I applied it to my own life, but this is a whole nother level. Um, I thought I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, which, you know, I did, but you don't know till you know. And uh, now that we're getting down to the last six weeks, you know, calories are dropping, sleep is being lost because it's, uh, I mean, I've always struggled with uh, my sleep, but trying to go to sleep hungry is, is difficult. But you know what? I just keep telling myself it's temporary. Uh, there's a goal in mind and it's not forever, right? I'm just, I'm doing this because I want a certain outcome. And so I'm going to keep showing up every day to the best of my ability and uh, yeah, man, it's it's been a learning experience, something I'll definitely take with me for the rest of my life. And I guarantee this will not be my first and last show. I um, love that. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. So for anyone listening, whether you're on you know Facebook, Instagram, or just on the podcast, like I want you to think about a goal that you could set for yourself that's going to really challenge you. You know, I remember when I got out of prison, my goal was to do a bunch of triathlons. Eventually, I did a half marathon, uh, a half Ironman, and then a full Ironman. And in the midst of that training, I was doing marathons. Uh, century bike rides, which are 100 miles, 200 mile bike rides. Like when you have a goal that you set, it gives you something to strive for. And physical goals are by far the most impactful goals you could set in your life. Now, getting an education, getting a degree, stuff like that, uh, developing a skill in a trade and getting a good job, like those are all important goals too. But there's something about the physical goal. It tests you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. It tests you across the board. You will evolve and grow so rapidly when you do what Matt's doing right now or when you do what I've done in the past and set you know, these big goals for myself. Um, so if you're listening and you could comment down below, we could read these comments later. What is a goal that you're going to set for yourself? Maybe it's something you've wanted to do that you've slacked on or you've put off. Right now is your chance. Call your shot. Drop in the comments. What's a goal that you're going to set? And, and when are you going to accomplish it by? 
And dude, it, it's crazy. Like so many people put things off. And Matt, you were saying you wanted to do a show since you're 26. Yeah, when I first you're got 34. Me. Yeah, 34 now. So eight years. Why didn't you do it sooner? Well, I mean, I'll start by saying first I made excuses, but I've also struggled with addiction. So there was a lot of you know parts parts in between there where I was in no way, shape, or form <laughs> mm-hmm. able to do something like that. But no, even in the beginning, um, I just made excuses. Right, met with coaches, backed out. Um, and just, I don't know, you know, I guess negative self-talk, fear and doubt, something I talk about often has been something that's plagued me for a long time. And, um, pretty much these last three years, things have changed a lot and even more so within the last year and a half year or so, um, as things have progressed with unstoppable and I don't know, just the natural progression of things that have gone on in my life. Um, so I don't hold back anymore. Can I touch on that too? Because like, you know, <clears throat> I'm always telling people, go all in, stop being a pussy, fucking your times now. But honestly, a lot of my goals and the things I've accomplished, I had those dreams and desires for over a decade. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, there's these seeds that'll be planted along your journey. And it doesn't mean that you always have to act upon them right away. If you can, I'd recommend acting upon them right away. But sometimes the timing's not right. Sometimes it's just not the right moment for you to pursue that goal. You know, and, and a lot of times people have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. They have to get beat down. They have to experience some pain. They have to get scared that their life pa- is passing them by before they're willing to act upon their, their visions. So, you know, for some of you listening to this, you might have these ideas of who you want to be and these goals that you have. And if you haven't done it yet, don't get discouraged. It's never too late to make a change. I mean, Matt had a goal of doing a bodybuilding show for eight years before he took action on it. You know, like I wanted to be sober for over a decade before I finally got sober. You know, sometimes that's just the way it works. But what I would tell you is most people lack urgency and you could do things a lot sooner than you realize. Like you could go for it now in a multitude of things and be successful. Like you really can. You just got to start the process. Last thing I want to point out too is it's not about achieving the goal overnight. It's a series of decisions and it's you showing up day in and day out for long periods of time that make that goal possible. So for some of you, you have these goals that you're going to achieve in a year or five or even 10 years from now right? That's how long it takes to achieve some goals. But what can you do today to start building momentum and work towards that outcome? Like have a plan and just be willing to focus every day on progress over perfection. And and you'll get there. I promise you that me and Matt are living proof. Um, So Matt, what has been the biggest challenge for you in this prep for your show? Man, there's been lots of challenge. I get challenges, I guess, just getting everything dialed in, right? Well, you know, most preps last about 16 weeks. Um, so I knew before I even started working with my coach, I wanted to kind of get a feel for it. So I started dieting pretty heavily, I guess, or at least getting used to the foods that I was going to be eating on the consistently two months prior to that. And, um, just eating the exact same meals every single day, like getting to the end of your day, making sure they're cooked, put in Tupperware for the following day ahead. Everything's just ready to go. Like that was something new to me. You know, um, I've always eaten pretty healthy for the most part, right? My diet's been pretty clean. You might've caught me eating out here and there before a couple, couple four by fours. Yeah. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? A couple four by fours here and there, but I wasn't working towards a goal. So it wasn't matter. I always have a six pack. We'll just say that. And, uh, this was just another level, man, and it's it, it took me a minute to get it dialed in, you know, um, and uh, I, I haven't been perfect. I'll be the first to admit that it's been a it's been a struggle, but I'm the type of person that I love challenges. You know, like I said, I've rebuilt my whole life off challenging myself, and I won't quit. I will not quit on anything. Like a lot of people, I think sign up to do a show or say they're going to do a show and they back out. I won't fucking do that, and that's. Partly, I guess, my ego, <laughs> you know, like that's why I put it out there because I don't want to look like a failure. So I use it to my advantage. Yeah. And I mean, dude, for a lot of you listening, like doing the show and getting last place is better than doing, not doing the show. Yeah. So Matt said it, maybe it's his ego. No, I think he just holds himself to a high standard. The ego would be quitting the show because you're worried you're not going to get first place. And so many people like, dude, would you rather start the process and get fifth place and work your way up to second and then first one day? Or never know because you were too scared to fucking get in the competition and maybe not get first, right? Like a lot of people's ego prevents them from trying things and doing things in life. And so for any of you listening to this, like you got to humble yourself and just go for the experience. And nine times out of 10, you'll realize you're more capable than you thought you were. Going back to that first marathon, right? Like the first one, I never, I did, I literally could run a mile and a half without being gassed out. Never thought I'd be able to run uh, 26. And the first marathon, like you said, it's never going to be perfect. And 
I got to mile 18, my body locked up and I had to like walk, jog, run the last eight miles. And I didn't like my time. And so I did it again the second time and smoked it by an hour. You know what I mean? So going back to your point of there's never going to be that perfect moment. You're never going to be a hundred percent ready. And I think that first time of anything is more of a learning experience over anything else. You know, you're not going to do it perfect. And this show for me probably isn't going to be perfect, but I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. Yeah, hundred percent. Pro, uh, progress over perfection. Start the process now. Stop waiting, you guys. Whatever your goal is, whatever that vision of who you want to be, start chipping away at it. Like, look at this statue right here, Sisyphus. This is the ancient fable of Sisyphus in Greek mythology. He was condemned by the gods to push this boulder up a mountain every single day. And that's a metaphor for life. If you're not getting up to push the boulder up the mountain, you're going to get fucking crushed. You're going to get crushed by adversity. You're going to get crushed by circumstances that arise that you're not prepared for. There's so much stuff that takes place in someone's lifetime that tests and challenges them. Most people are not prepared for those tests and challenges. And, and maybe we never will be. But if you're working on yourself every day and you're developing discipline and, and grit and you're really challenging yourself on a daily basis, you're going to be more likely and, and capable to overcome those things. What do you want to say to people right now that are just holding back in life? Get off your... Like seriously, if you, have them in front of you though, <laughs> if you have them in front of you, like what, how, what do you want them to, to hear and understand from and, you and, and help them to feel it? What do you want them to feel when they hear your message? Man? In all honesty, like if you're not happy with where you're at in life, like I know this feeling, like I wanted to be sober. I knew I had so much more potential out there. And let me just give you a quick backstory, dude. I was homeless, strung out, living in my car, um, struggled to get, you know, sober over and over, like throughout the years. And I just came to this point where I knew I wanted more, um, you know, and I just didn't know how to achieve it. And then uh, I got sober. That was step one. You know, so if you're holding back in life, know that you only get to do this once, right? Every day that passes you by, you're never going to get an opportunity to get that day back. And so to make each the most of each day, you know, every single day, that's how I live my life. Like when I get up, I'm like, what does the world have for me today to experience? You know, what, what connections am I going to make? What experiences am I going to have? How am I just going to make the most of this 24 hours that I'm blessed with? And I've done that continuously over the last three years and life has gotten really fucking amazing. You know, things I never even saw coming have uh, presented themselves and I know that there's just so much more to experience out there so I have yeah. this can I touch on that too like yeah. dude I don't care where you're at if you're on chapter one or chapter ten yeah. like for somebody that's starting and, and you feel like you're behind in life you're, you're older you're in your 30s and you don't have a career you don't have a family like I talk to so many guys who feel like they're behind if I was just starting my journey right now the main thing I'd focus on every day is having the best attitude and giving maximum effort and I'd seek to learn new, new things every day, get around people who were having success I wanted, and I'd continuously develop myself. I'd read books, I'd work out, I'd make sure that every day I was exhausting all options and resources to maximize that day. But most people, when they don't have what they want, they don't have a positive attitude. They're not able to tap into gratitude, and that's what keeps you stuck. When I was at my lowest point in life, I was able to tap into gratitude and I was have, able to have a positive attitude that day that helped me to then take actions to move forward. If you don't have a positive attitude, you're not going to feel the motivation to do the work. You're not going to be able to develop the discipline over time that's going to get you to where you want to go. So a lot of you right now, the main reason you don't have what you want is you have a poor attitude and you don't give your best effort. I don't care if you're picking up fucking trash on the ground or mopping a floor or going grocery shopping or holding a door open for somebody or driving in traffic like be a good person be the best version of yourself that carries over in everything that you do like it's about who not how who are you becoming who are you molding yourself into what what are you developing within yourself that's going to benefit you down the road who not how if you focus on that you're going to be successful in life if you're always trying to find the how the quick fix the magic pill but you're not developing yourself you're not going to see anything change in your life so we're going to end it with that matt fleming's a stud October 5th, Mesa, Arizona, the Whitney Jones Classic. Check it out. Shoot us a DM. Uh, you know, type it in on your, your search engine. If you want to come out and support Matt, we'd love to see you there. Look, you guys, I'm on a mission to change the world, but I can't do it by myself. I need you to step up and lead by example. And I need you to subscribe and share this podcast episode with everybody that you know that needs to be inspired to level up in their lives. 
Like I said, I'm on a mission to change the world, but I can't do it alone. I need you. Let's do it together.